Hi. Okay, this is um just a, a an experimental video. Um, I'm in my craft room. That's why the background looks different. Um, the lighting's kind of weird, you know, whatever. But anyway, here's my. <laughs> Don't forget subscribe. Can you see that? Okay. <laughs> and then I got this. Gotta like my videos. And then I have the notification bell. I made these myself because I don't know if you can tell it's, it's kind of shiny. I printed them out and then I laminated them because I have a laminator because I know how to laminate. So anyway, this is an experiment, like I said, and um, this is actually being filmed on my laptop instead of my phone this time. So, you know, um, I must say I do like um, the composition of how my face is actually in the whole screen. So that's good. Uh, lighting's not that great, but it's dark right now. It's pretty late. Um, so I have a light on over here. When I put the light, this light on over here, it it makes it kind of like really like like I have white hair, or sometimes I look like I have red hair, which I don't. And um, so I was watching different YouTube videos to try to figure out how I should do this differently, or if I should do it differently. And I don't really know. Like I'm just this is like such an experiment for me. And Dan thinks I should pick one genre and just talk about one thing all the time. <clears throat> and quite honestly, I find those um, videos boring. Because um, we all know a narcissist, but how many times can you talk about the narcissist? Like, like and people do. People um, make channels channels and channels and videos and videos and videos and it's like they just kind of spit out the same thing over and over and over again and then he pointed out he said your channel is called uh truth in a, in a hand basket so to me that sounds like like you should be talking about god or something and that's what i started with that's where i that's where i want to go i think i want to because my very first video was first of all thanking everybody for my birthday wishes but also talking about being remembered for christ so yeah i don't know i just um and then i started getting off on these tangents about talking about my health because that's kind of what happened and in the last video i made um given the results of my tests but i was way down at the bottom of the screen so that didn't i was trying to figure out like um where to put the phone and i did it differently and the one video i liked the composition of it of like it was i had to put the napkin holder and then something else on top of that and then there was a, a dollar store thing that i used to put the phone and that felt like it gave me the right height that's when i was learning how to use the horizontal instead of vertical and so i don't know it's weird but um i don't really have anything like to talk about right now that has to do with any kind of truth except for this um i am i truthfully am very glad and i'm very happy that my test results were good and um and i'm trying to think of a, the word that i want to use I'm, um i'm very um oh darn i lose my i lose my um train of thought and i lose my words a lot and my mother suffers from alzheimer's and it makes me worry that i have like early onset or something how I can't think of the words I want to use all the time. It really kind of scares me. And she's 92 and a half. So it's like, I feel like it's more normal for her to be as forgetful as she is. I don't think at my age, it's as normal to be as forgetful as I am. And I still can't think of the word I want to use 
for how you feel when God does something for you, like how you feel grateful when God, you know, you feel like, I feel like God has, um, like maybe there was something wrong, but God healed me and that's why my test results came out good. And, um, it don't look so bad on the, on, on this camera as on the phone camera. The phone camera, when I was first doing, I was doing it vertically. How grateful. Is that right? Is that the word I'm thinking? I'm so grateful to the Lord. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> and, um, but my teeth don't look as bad. And then, because uh, the first couple videos I was doing, I was like really close. And you can see all the crookedness of my teeth, which I hate. And then I look really heavy. Well, I am heavy. But in my um, one photo that I used for, I updated the picture because I have bangs now and I have bangs in the photo. And I just took that photo. It's recent. But. I look heavier, I think, on the camera. I think they say camera adds like 110 pounds or something like that. <laughs> oh, I'm silly. Oh, I'm thinking about my mom right now. I wonder how she's doing. It's too late to call her. I think about her a lot. It's kind of sad, though. Because she, um, well, she has Alzheimer's. She still knows our names. As well as she did when she was in her 50s, you know, doing that, you know, Beth, uh, Joan, uh, Shirley, uh, Terry, what's your name, you know? So she's always done that since I've known her, you know, she's always done that. But so she still knows our name. She knows who we are. When I call her, I do the same thing every time I go, hi. And then I do that for two reasons because she's kind of a negative Nelly. So if you just go, hello, she goes, what's wrong? Is anything wrong? And it's like, no, there's nothing wrong. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like, can't. So I always like exaggerate. Hi, how you doing? Because that's my happy, you know. But also because that's my hello, that's my greeting, that's my salutation for her now. So, Hi, so right away. So even I can hear her like, if she goes, uh, oh, hi. Like she's remembering that it's me, you know. Um, but it worries me with my own brain how I can't, how I can't remember words. And then I talked to the doctor about it. And she's like, well, we would do an, an MRI. And I went, no, we wouldn't. No, no, no thank you. I'll take my chances. Like, I can't, there, no, I won't be doing, I won't be going in, in the tube and thing and the thing. No. So I'm talking back about my um, my medical things again. I guess because I got a lot wrong with me physically. Like I like so I always go back to that. I always go back to I just um, I just want to I don't know. I just wish I could be wish my body was 16 again. You know. I just wish if that was what I was going to tell the truth, absolutely. You know, truth in a handbasket, right? I wish that I, my body could be 16. And, and, but then I say, no, because if I had a 16 year old body, I'd still have a cycle. And ugh. so I, so in a way, it's better to be older than not deal with that. So, so let me see. What do we got here? Almost 10 minutes of me just rambling on about nothing but um, i don't know i don't think i'm ever going to be that youtuber with millions of views i'll let you know if that ever changes you know i i don't think i'm ever going to be that person this is more like a personal vlog i guess it's like i'm letting you guys read my diary or something I don't know. So Stacy went to Nashville. And so we took her to the airport. And she had to be 
on the plane at four, so we took her around two o'clock. And um, so we go to drop her off at her her thing, and there were these two guys standing outside smoking cigarettes. And I'm not saying this because they were brown, okay? Because you know, who cares? But they happened to be brown. But they just looked so suspicious to me because they had no luggage. They were just standing there. And just standing there. They were both smoking. And to me, it looked like we're just waiting for a young lady to come along whose parents aren't dropping her off. Who's just going to the airport all by her lonesome. And it just looked so suspicious. They were just standing there. Like, what are you doing? Like, how are you just standing at the at the airport? And I always say, if you say, you know, if you see something, say something. And I didn't say anything to anybody except for Dan. And I was like, those guys are creeping me out that they're just standing there. They have, like, if they, because there's not a lot of smoke in the airport. So if they were there with suitcases and standing, you know, you know, just smoking because you can't smoke inside the airport with their luggage. But it really creeped me out that they were there with no luggage, just hanging around the airport. Like, because that's apparently what we do. No, that's not what we do. You go to the terminal and you dropped off, you drop off your loved one and that's what you do. Or you go in and you take care of your business and then you wait for your plane. It was just weird to me. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Guess what we saw? Oh my gosh. We were going to, to pick up the, I mean, yeah, to pick up Stacy. And right by the uh, Folk, Folkroth Police Department, we saw an overturned car. I had never seen that before. Apparently, there was a there was a really bad car accident. Dan could see from a couple of blocks away the fire trucks, and it's like, what the heck's going on up there? What what's going on? And and it was overturned, and it just triggered something in my empathy that I immediately had to start praying for them, but I was crying so like heavily for these people, like as if I they were friends of mine or something. It was really strange, but it really upset me seeing that car like all, all upside down. And part of me wanted to jump out of the car and like go to them and not that I could do anything. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse, you know, or just pray for them or hold their hand or something. But something, something in me really wanted to go over there and, you know, see if I could do anything for him. It's like, it was really, really upsetting. And then, so he had to go around the barn and, you know, to find another way to go. And then we get to her apartment. And then when we got back, um, then, you know, everything was clear. He's like, I'm going to go take a look around and see if it cleared up. And it did. So I just hope they were okay. Hope they're all, I didn't hear anything about it on the news. You think you would, especially because it was right by the Falkroft the Falkroft Police Department. So you would think, you know. But the only thing I was like, how could that? It goes like like right at the light. The only thing I think could have happened was the person must have been speeding so fast that and lost control, maybe flipped that way or hit a pole or something and. It was like totally upside down. It looked like a toy car. Yeah. So I'm thinking about rearranging this room because Dan said that I should have a cute background. So if I had um, a cute background, I don't know, maybe I would, the videos would look cuter, but on this wall, you can't see because I'd have to turn, you know, turn around. But there's a a felt map of the United States. It's actually for children, but I love because of the colors. It matches the colors in the room, and um, so it has the little felt. Look, I'll get this one. Uh, these little felt stickers. Can you see that? I don't know if it comes in. Yeah, so it gets these little felt stickers. 
and this goes on the state of Hawaii, for example. And then, um, and then this one's real cute. This one has the little Las, the Las Vegas. Can you see that? Las Vegas sign, and then you put that obviously on Nevada. So it has all these cute little landmarks, and then there's a star that says, I live here. And then that one I put on Pennsylvania, because <laughs> guess why? I'm in Pennsylvania. <laughs> <So> <laughs> I'm getting silly, because it's, so, it's not real, real late, but it's like, not even late for me. But I'm getting a little tired, but tomorrow, 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 da, 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 da. Um, anyway, <laughs> I haven't even drank anything because like, I don't drink really. I'm just naturally goofy. I'm going out with Rachel um, and, and if you don't know who Rachel is, that's okay because it's really none of your business. <laughs> Uh, anyway, friend of mine, friend of the family. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, she's taking me out like a late birthday thing. She wanted, she, she uh, messaged me like a couple weeks before my birthday. Said, what are you doing for your birthday? And I said, well, I'm going to go visit my mom. So then she's like, well, I want to go. Um, I want to take you to like one of those places like where you do all kinds of art. And like, say if you have a group. Of 20 people, then you end up with 20 people with the same painting. You know those places? Yeah. So uh, we're going to go do that tomorrow. So that'll be fun. And then maybe I'll take some video while we're there. Maybe I'll have her take video of me doing my whatever project we did, we decide to do. And, um, and then we'll, we're going to do that. And then um, so she wants to take me out. And that should be fun. I really like Rachel. I wish you all could meet Rachel. Because she's very, very sweet. And she's a nice person. And I really, really like her a lot. And, um, so, so that's that about Rachel. But yeah, she's going to take me out. And <clears throat> if you know anything about me, I don't normally go anywhere. I really don't. I don't go anywhere. Dan and I, we go together to church. We go to the grocery store. And then we come home. And, and lately we've, we've been going to a certain person's house to help them with their house. And I made a video about that already so I won't go into that but that's what we've been doing like we go once a week so uh yeah we, we're homebodies and we don't travel because neither one of us we couldn't care less about traveling we really couldn't and um oh looky there I've talked for almost 19 minutes awesome because <laughs> this was just an experimental video so this is a video of a whole lot of nothing and I'm just experimenting. Maybe I should do this during the daytime. I think what I'll do is I maybe I should switch the desk around so I can have a cute background behind me. Maybe that's what I should do. I don't know. And then do this during the daytime. Because, you know, the lighting, first of all, I feel like I'm really washed out right now. But then the, the lighting... It's so harsh, and it hits on all my bad points. And then I look really fat. <sighs> yeah, so. And then I want to look thinner like this. I'll watch. Look. Go like that. And then then it makes my, my mouth weird. <laughs> I'm such a goofball. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting famous. <laughs> nobody, nobody wants to watch me do any of this stuff. <laughs> I guess this will be for my own pleasure. I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, it's almost been 20 minutes. 
and I still have to watch this, see if I want to upload it, <laughs> and then upload it, I guess. All right. All right. Well, thanks for, thanks for watching this, and um, <laughs> subscribe if you dare, because <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm a goofball. All right. Good night, everybody. Bye. Come on. Do the thing. Stop. <laughs> it's not stopping. All right. Let's keep. Okay. All right. Let me push it really hard now. Wait. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. It's not stopping. Okay. So I guess I got to get this figured out. Maybe if I touch this little icon right here. No? No? Okay. We'll use the thing. <laughs>